First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26, verses 11 to 16 and 24. Then the priests and the prophets said to the officials and to all the people, This man deserves the sentence of death, because he has prophesied against this city, as you have heard with your own ears. Then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people, saying, It is the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and this city all the words you have heard. Now, therefore, amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will change his mind about the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, here I am in your hands. Do with me as seems good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood upon yourselves and upon this city and its inhabitants. For in truth the Lord sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears. Then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve the sentence of death, for he has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. But the hand of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, was with Jeremiah, so that he was not given over into the hands of the people to be put to death. The Word of the Lord He who carries God in his heart bears heaven with him wherever he goes. The Holy Gospel of our Lord according to St. Matthew. At that time Herod, the ruler of Galilee, heard about Jesus. He is really John the Baptist who has come back to life, he told his officials. That is why he has this power to perform miracles. For Herod had earlier ordered John's arrest, and he had him tied up and put in prison. He had done this because of Herodians, his brother Philip's wife. For some time John the Baptist had told Herod, it isn't right for you to be married to Herodias. Herod wanted to kill him, but he was afraid of the Jewish people because they considered John to be a prophet. On Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced in front of the whole group. Herod was so pleased that he promised her, I swear that I will give you anything you ask for. At her mother's suggestion, she asked him, Give me here and now the head of John the Baptist on a plate. The king was sad, but because of the promise he had made in front of all his guests, he gave orders that her wish be granted. So he had John beheaded in prison. The head was brought in on a plate and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. John's disciples came, carried away his body, and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Today being the feast of St. Alphonsus Liguori, let us speak of hell, which Alphonsus, as a doctor of the church and also a moral theologian, 
wrote extensively on this subject. Now, hell is something we choose. God does not cast us into hell. We cast ourselves into hell. This is what St. Alphonsus tells us. How is it possible? Well, very simply, if God is a loving God, he will never want any of us going, to, going into hell. Instead, because he has given us freedom, we choose hell and we go there on our own. Some people, when you ask them how they are doing and about their faith, some very sadly, they say, I am, of course, going straight to hell for the things I have done. Not reflecting on what God can do even at that moment in their lives. We might be thinking that we are destined to hell, but that is not our destiny. Our destiny is heaven. This is what God calls us to be in. And we need to know that if we are good, if we live holy lives, if we constantly go walk towards the Lord, as we have been reflecting this whole week, if we bring Christ into our lives, bring the kingdom of heaven, live the kingdom of heaven in our lives, and make sure people know that we are holy through our actions and through what we say and do, we will be destined to heaven. But if we disregard all of this and we say that we don't want to go to heaven and we go against God daily in our lives, then although our destiny is heaven, we choose to go against our destiny and we ourselves choose hell. Sweet. Watching me out